Hey guys, Moustache here, this time with another figure review, this time of the Metal Gear Solid V, the Phantom Pain, Play Arts Kai Quiet. Uh, much like the other figures in the line, this one does come in a window box. This guy I'm able to, re or this person, this girl I'm able to review, uh, thanks to Captain Holiday. And as you can see, we do get the pose, just like the other boxes, as well as more poses in the back, uh, with her gun, as well as with her handgun, as well as her uh, kind of just showing off like she does in the trailer. And then on the other side, it does say Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, Play Arts Kai, just like the other promotionals coming out for the game. And there it is. So let's get into the review. So here she is, quiet, right out of the box. Um, as you can see, it looks very cool. Uh, color definition looks really great. I love that they even got it down to the different color um, gloves on her. So we'll go ahead and get into the accessories first, as always, and then go ahead and go into everything else. So, first off, she does come with a pistol here. And as you can see, the wood grain on the pistol there, she actually does come with the special hand just for the pistol here as well, which is one of the, uh, I guess, tan hands. Uh, she also comes with a black hand here for the knife. So that holds in there pretty well. We do get a second face here. So that looks very nice, as you can see there. Uh, the one gripe I had is that uh, the ponytail doesn't move and it would kind of make it easier when you're doing some of the poses But it's still very nice And then last but not least we get this giant sniper rifle as you can see the detail is very nice The mix of the metallics with the kind of uh, shiny with the matte looks very cool Even these little buckles here are painted and along with that you do get another trigger finger hand for that as well since it does hold it differently than the um, pistol. So we'll go ahead and get into the articulation for the figure now. So here she is and uh, as you can see she is uh, very bare so I would say it's very easy for her to do a lot of the articulation. So first off as always we start at the top and go down to the bottom. So the arm does go up about that far. We do get 360 degree there which is very easy since nothing is hindering her. We do get 360 degree at the elbow. We get more than 90 degree there. And then going down to the wrist, 360 degree, as well as up and down. If you do move that joint quite a bit, you can do a front and back as well. So that gives you a lot of range of movement with the sniper rifle, as well as the knife. Same thing on the other side, up about that far, 360 degree. Uh, back about that far, up more than 90. And then the 360 degree at the wrist, and up and down, because of that joint. And then going to the head, we do get down about that far, up about that far. Uh, we can do 360 degrees, so she does get a nice range of movement if she's looking around. She does do the side to side, much like the other um, player at Kai. She has quite a range of movement with the head, uh, even though she doesn't have a shirt blocking her or anything. All this top portion is one kind of molded piece, so that over overgoes the joint. So even though her head, as you can see there, you know it covers the head joint for the neck, so it makes it look all straight. It's not, you know, a broken joint in the middle of the neck, so it's very nice. So going to the waist, she does go down about that far, up about that far. There is the break here right under her top for the ab crunch, and that's where the kind of skin changes. You can do the ab crunch there right under there. And then with the legs, you get a nice back movement here, nice front movement here. The only thing you have to watch out for is um, what you have to watch for with most of the Play Arts Kai is just this waist right here. So right under... The belt is what breaks up the kind of uh, joint, so you can get that movement there. So, going down to the leg, you do get more than 90 there. A nice, nice more than 90. And then going to the foot, you do get 360 degree at the top of the foot, uh, going into the boot, I mean. Uh, there is a ball joint there. And then going down to the toe, this is different. Uh, we've seen this in kind of the Play Arts Kai Garrus, but not as implemented. With her boots, since she does have to get down and do these kind of low down poses, the toe is actually split at the right before the toe. So you can actually go, you know, side to side with it. But the cool thing is, is that you still have a flat surface with these boots because the sole of the boot is free flowing. And that's with both of the legs here. So that's a very nice touch when it comes to, you know, these figures. And then going into her kind of ensemble here, she does have the spot for the knife, the gun. And then she doesn't have a spot for the sniper rifle, but I'm sure you could probably, you know, put it in the back. Just because a lot of these cords that are connected actually go right back into her body. 
So right there, and it just slides back in. Same thing here, you can create a lot of dynamic poses because of these being so freely moving. So we'll go ahead and uh, switch over the head real quick. Just like Skullface or any of the other Play Arts Kai's, we do have the ball joint here. So to switch those out, it's as easy as just popping it back on like that. So that's very nice that we're able to do that with the ease. Uh, same thing with the wrist, you just go ahead and pop those out because they are a straight joint, they're not a ball joint like the head and then you just slide them back in. So it eliminates something like them being uh, broken when you try to pop them off. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put her aside and bring in the other cast uh, and put them all together so you can check out kind of everything that we have in the line so far. So here she is quiet in a cool sniperish action pose here. Uh, I can go ahead and try to turn her. I don't wanna knock, it, knock down these other guys. But uh, these guys look super awesome together. Um, as you see, we have the uh, the snake as well as uh, Skullface there with their weapons, and then we have her with her weapon. Uh, great figure, uh, a lot of posability. I love that they did do the thing with the um, the soles of the shoes being able to, you know, have that option to pose her in a really down, you know, position, but still having a flat surface, so she does have the capability of being so flat. Um, I know a lot of people gave this figure gripes. I know a lot of people gave this character gripes. But uh, we don't know what's up with her yet. And I know uh, Hideo came out and said, you know, she has a past and um, some other things like that. Uh, so, you know, until the game comes out, we won't really know for sure where it's going. But if you do get a chance to get this figure, definitely pick it up. Um, all these guys, you know, we have the snake, uh, skull mask, or skull face, as well as quiet. Definitely pick them up, put them around your Metal Gear stuff. Even if these are your first Metal Gear figures, I know uh, Skullface is actually my second uh, along with my Raiden. But uh, definitely pick them up. They're the coolest. Moustache again. Peace.